I want to start off by saying my biases, telling you my biases. Uh, I am an atheist, and I have more than just a passing affection for philosophy. The position I want to defend is that atheism is not a scientific position, but a philosophic one. That that does not make it any less correct. I want to go into a quick summary here. I view science in the more narrow definition of uh, the scientific method and experimentation, test tube science. Now rather than the, the Sam Harris definition of science, which is, which is really broad, the Sam Harris definition of science is so broad that philosophy is actually science. Which is why when he says that science can solve ethics, or solve ethical issues, you have to keep in mind that the wor his word science encompasses philosophy. Well, good philosophy. So an analytic philosophy for sure, I think would be con considered uh, science in his view. I, I don't know for sure, but I'd, I'd really like to ask him one day if I could ever talk to him, because I get that impression when from his definition of science. And philosophy. Philosophy is not just your opinion. Philosophy, it's very difficult to actually hold a uh, good philosophic position, because philosophy takes... it's the it, I suppose you could say, especially analytic philosophy, it's the art of hair splitting. The amount of hair splitting in philosophy is so intense that it's very difficult to hold a position because it'll, if there's any logical issues at all, it'll just be destroyed. Which is, leads me into an interesting side note. Mo a large number of atheists, I mean, a large number of philosophers are atheists. Mainly because the idea of mind-body or soul-body duality makes no sense when you uh, hair split it and analyze it out of existence because of questions such as how exactly does the mind or soul interact with the body if they're different realms? Like if the soul exists in a, is a wholly different unextended substance while matter is an extended substance, i.e the soul doesn't take up space, but matter does take up space, how exactly do they interact? Like, there seems to be no way for them to interact. So just from logical hair splitting alone, you can, you can get really, really far. You don't even need to do scientific experimentation, because you can prove philosophically that certain positions are unintendable from the very beginning. You don't even need science yet, because the position is so bad. Like, just un it just, you can analyze it out of existence. But yeah, yeah, so that's it. That's kind of what my view of science is. That's kind of what my view of philosophy is. And basically, atheism is a philosophic position because it's a stance of, on metaphysics. It's a metaphysical stance. And a little quick definition of metaphysics. Metaphysics is not this, like, hippie New Age mumbo-jumbo that you uh, read about on meetup.com. Metaphysics is simply very general stance on reality, on the, the physical world. I suppose you could say metaphysics is what happens when you, when when the uh, physics when physics gets so general and broad in its questioning that it gets into philosophy. Oh yeah, yeah. Another quick definition for philosophy is think of philosophy as pretty much abstractions. Any th any thought or questioning that's incredibly abstract. Like if you ask questions like what is time. A question like, what is time, is really in the philosophy realm, or what is good, and stuff. So yeah, that's what metaphysics is, and atheism is a stance on metaphysics. Because atheism is, uh, usually often presupposes the idea that the supernatural cannot exist. The world is entirely physical, and the world is entirely natural. There is no supernatural beings, there is no non-physical entities in this world and such and so yeah and it's it's atheism is not scientific in the sense that it's not it's not the result of a scientific experiment it's not the result of the scientific method it's really the result of uh, reasoning and rational conjecture so yeah that's it really it's it's a philosophic position not a scientific position but that's okay because and philosophy is not 
in, in pop culture, philosophy means like worldview or opinion, but in academia, or in real philosophy, it's it's actually something that holds water. Philosophic positions in the academic sense are very difficult to hold and maintain because of the amount of rigor involved, and hence atheism, even though it's a philosophic, not a scientific position, is still very tenable.